Hey guys, Daily Dose here again. <clears throat> this time, this is my second survival kit in a can review. This is the Coglins survival kit in a can. This is the one that's supposed to be a lot better than that Whistle Creek version. Uh, it does have a lot of the same items in it, but it's also different. So, let's go through it here. Uh, these are the items listed. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So you can pause it if you want to see the whole list. Otherwise, I will open it. So, got the back here. Uh, this one was about ten bucks. So, if that tells you anything, the Whistle Creek one was five. So, we'll see if there's a big difference. Pop this open without cutting myself. Good enough. All right. First thing that we got here on top, this is packed pretty tight compared to the other one. <clears throat> We've got, looks like, ooh, yeah, about 12 inches of duct tape versus the other one, which had about this much only, about maybe four or five inches. So definitely an improvement on the Whistle Creek one. Same razor blade here that's in the Whistle Creek. <clears throat> so we've got those two items. We've got, let's see, okay, it's a chicken bouillon is what it is. Uh, you can see right there. Packet here. Whistle Creek one did not have that. All it had basically was sugar in different forms. Uh, we've also got a Ziploc bag, which uh, is about twice the size of the Whistle Creek Ziploc bag. Uh, we've got the Book of Matches, so just real simple. We've also got a tea bag. Whistle Creek did have the tea bag. And here's where it gets interesting. A lot more items. Uh, it comes with wire. I'm not sure how many feet, but I can probably tell you that in a second. Uh, let's see. It is. Nine point eight feet. So, not bad. Uh, wire definitely useful. We've got some thread also. Just like in a Whistle Creek, energy candy, aka just a peppermint, essentially, or spearmint, or whatever. Little button compass. <clears throat> Whistle. Which looks, you know, I mean, it's nothing special. <clears throat> um, two different safety pins, from what I'm seeing here. So, a large and a small. Um, wow, I, this is like comprehensive compared to the other one. Uh, got a pencil here with a uh, pocket clip of some sort. So, uh, and a double bubble piece of gum, some more sugar. We've got some string here, just looks like some you know, poly string or whatever. And some matches with wax on them to keep the tips waterproof. Uh, which is nice. Comes with a total of four of those. So, looks like they strike anywhere. A white tip. Useful, especially if they get wet. A couple of nails, which... I guess there's all sorts of things you can do with those. Um, so two nails. Now, the Whistle Creek one had fire starting cube. This comes with two of them, which is a hell of a lot more useful. We've also got the sugar packet. Um, got the alcohol prep pads. Two of those instead of just one. Two twisty ties. Um, also, Got the uh, helpful tips to survive, to survival in the outdoors. 
which is a lot more comprehensive than the Whistle Creek version. Looks like there's a lot more info in it, um, you know, which is great. Uh, also comes with a piece of paper to use with your pencil as a kind of a notepad. Two band-aids. Uh, you can see here, comes with a, a needle in there, two fishing hooks, and then a signal mirror, which, you know, it's kind of cheesy, but it would work in a pinch. Uh, you can see right there, it's very reflective. Uh, and then, of course, the container to boil water or whatever else you need to do. So, after doing this review and the Whistle Creek review, I would have to say, out of the two, I would recommend the Coglins Survival Kit in a can. Twice the price, but, you know, for what you get, I think it's worth it. Once again, you know, if you're too lazy to do one yourself, these are fine. Uh, you know, this is the one I would recommend getting. But, I mean, overall, they're, they're fine for what they are. Uh... You know, it's there's really not a whole lot to them, but I mean, building your own is going to be cheaper. You know, or hell, if you want to, you could buy one of these and put parts from it in your own kit. Uh, you can easily fit it in an Altoids container, which yeah, granted the Altoids container is smaller than this, harder to boil water in an Altoids container. It is doable. You just won't get as much out of it, but. You know, it's an idea. It's something you can do if you had to. So, uh, anyways, I'll show you my Altoids kit, uh, kit in the next uh, video. So, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.